Today, we want to talk about a diet. Who has a diet? Does your mom have a diet? Your dad? Your grandma? Your aunt? Your dog? Your hamster? Well, what about you? The answer is everybody has a diet. A diet is how you eat for a lifetime. We all eat, so that means we all have a diet. Now, there are unhealthy diets and healthy diets. We want to be healthy and active for our whole lives, so that means we want to eat a healthy, balanced diet. Let's talk about what that means. Having a healthy, balanced diet means that each day we are drinking plenty of water and eating a variety of foods from all five food groups. And that's a healthy, balanced diet. Sit on the floor with your legs in front of you and your arms next to you. Slowly lift your feet while finding your balance and hold. You can use your arms or your fingers to maintain your balance. Be sure to breathe the entire time. Up. Down. Motor skills, locomotor skip. There are four critical elements, the head, the upper body, the lower body, and the rhythm. The head. The head is stable. The eyes are looking forward and there is no side to side movement. The upper body. The body is upright. The elbow joints are at a 90 degree angle as the arms swing. The arms and legs move in opposition. The hands swing from the waist to the shoulder. The lower body. The opposite knee drives up during the hopping phase. The weight is on the balls of the feet throughout the movement. Forward motion occurs during the hop and during the forward step. Rhythm. A smooth rhythmic speed and distance is maintained throughout the movement. The pattern consists of a step and then a hop. Locomotor skip. Motor skills. Locomotor jump. There are four critical elements. The head, the upper body, the lower body, and the rhythm. The head. The head is level. The head is facing the direction of travel. The upper body. The core is engaged throughout the movement. In preparation for the jump, the arms are extended behind the body. As the jump occurs, the arms are driven upward. The lower body. The knees flex in preparation for the jump. The weight is on the balls of the feet. The legs extend and push off the balls of the feet upward. The landing occurs again on the balls of the feet. Rhythm. The pattern consists of a preparation, jumping, and landing on both feet. Transition occurs with consistent speed, distance, and height. Jump. Vegetables are represented by the color green. Let's spell vegetables together using sign language. Copy and repeat after me. V E G E T A B L E S Vegetables, great job. 
Vegetables are loaded with vitamins and minerals like folate, fiber, potassium, and vitamins A and C. Asparagus, peas, seaweed, and zucchini are all part of the vegetables group. Can you think of three more examples of vegetables? To begin, feet shoulder width apart, hands bent and up, squat down and up, down and up. The idea is to keep all the weight on the heels of your feet, so when you get down to the bottom of the squat, you can still wiggle your toes. Down, up, down, up. Make sure to go as slow or as fast as you need to. Remember, we're worried about balance and comfort. Down. Fruits are represented by the color red. Let's spell fruits together using sign language. Copy and repeat after me. F, R, U, I, T, S. Fruits, nice job. Fruits are loaded with vitamins and minerals like potassium, folate, and vitamins A and C. Apricots, avocados, oranges, and guavas are all part of the fruits group. Can you think of three more examples from the fruits group? To begin, we're going to be running in place. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Every time that I say switch, you're going to jump and turn the opposite direction or spin a 180. Ready, switch. Ready, switch. Now you got it. Ready, switch. Ready, switch. Ready, switch. Ready, switch. Grains are represented by the color orange. Let's spell grains together using sign language. Copy and repeat after me. G R A I N S grains. Nice job. Foods in the grains group are a great source of fiber, iron, magnesium, and B vitamins. Wheat bread, rice, oats, and cornmeal are all part of the grains group. Can you think of three more examples of grains? To begin, squat down, then put your hands on the ground and kick your feet back. To finish, do a push up. Come all the way back up to the top. Try it again. Down, kick back, push up, up. Down, back, push up, up. Remember to go at your own pace. The idea is to keep control of your body. If you need to use your knees to push yourself back up off the ground, go ahead and do it. Dairy is represented by the color blue. Let's spell dairy together using sign language. Copy and repeat after me. D A 
I R Y. Dairy. Nice job. Simply put, dairy is milk products. Foods in the dairy group are loaded with vitamins and minerals such as potassium, calcium, and vitamins D and B12. Milk, ice cream, sour cream, and yogurt are all part of the dairy group. Can you think of three more examples from the dairy group? Protein is represented by the color purple. Let's spell protein together using sign language. Copy and repeat after me. P R O T E I N Protein. Nice job. The protein group includes vitamins E and B, iron, zinc, and magnesium. Protein helps us build muscle. Salmon, tofu, chicken, and legumes are all part of the protein group. Can you think of three more examples from the protein group? Oils are represented by the color yellow. Let's spell oils together using sign language. Copy and repeat after me. O I L S Oils Oils contain essential fatty acids needed for health. Essential fatty acids are necessary for heart and brain function. Soybean, cottonseed, and canola are all examples of oils. Can you think of one more example of oils? Sit with your legs out in front of you. Squeeze all your muscles as tight as you can. Now slowly release your muscles, one at a time. Release your toes, your legs, your bottom, your tummy, your arms, your face. Now smile. You can also perform this exercise while lying down on your back.